So you work a normal job, but lately you've been thinking, man, I kind of hate it here. Or you've been thinking, uh, I kind of like it here. It's not too shabby, but I'd like to make a little bit more money. So you search on the internet how to make money online and you stumble across something called Amazon FBA and you run into this random internet Asian guy talking about it. I know, I've been there. But you're sitting there and you're wondering, can you actually do an Amazon business and make money off of it, make profit while you're working a nine to five job? You're looking at your schedule and you know you're super busy and you're like, do I even have time for this? Well, in this video, I'm here to tell you, yes, you can do it while you have a nine to five. What's good, YouTube? My name is Kevin Pack. I'm a six figure Amazon seller and welcome to my channel. I get this question all the time in my YouTube and in my DMs on Instagram as well. And people are always asking me like, can you really do this while you're working a nine to five job? I have a full time job right now. Can I do Amazon FBA? Is it going to be too much time? Uh, is it going to be taking up all my all my free time? So in this video, I want to address to you guys how it is possible to actually start an Amazon business and while you're still working a full time nine to five job or whatever it is. And I'm not just some kid that didn't have a job and just started doing this on the Internet and then, you know, came up wealthy out of it. I actually had a full-time job while I was doing Amazon and then I didn't leave that job until my Amazon business outgrew my other one. So before we deep dive into this, I'm gonna show you guys my sales in the past 30 days so you guys know that I'm a current Amazon seller. All right guys, so it's a little bit past noon right now, so I'm gonna refresh for you guys. Bada bing, bada boom, just like that, look at that. 28 sales today so far, almost $700 and we still have a full day to go. Uh, $29,000 in the past 30 days, almost 30,000. Actually in, uh, today's April 1st, but for the month of March, we actually did $30,000. So I was really happy I was able to break that. Then I'm gonna show you guys the last 12 months so far. So you can see in the last 12 months, I've done over $267,000 in a single year, 12 months. Pretty crazy. But remember, it wasn't always like this. I started from zero, just like from you guys, but I continued to work and I scaled my business all the way up to where it's at now, while I was still working a full-time job, basically. All right, guys, so here we are on my computer right now, and I'm using this app called Toggle. And Toggle is basically a work time tracking app. It's completely free, it's what I use, and I really, really love it because it helps me keep track of my time and hours. Because I'm my own businessman, I don't have to clock in hours or anything. I have to keep track of my own hours and I wanna see where my time is being spent and uh, if I'm working too much or too little or if I need to cut back or add more time towards things. So Toggle is a really, really great app. I really recommend it. But here I will give you guys a like realistic expectation of how many hours you can expect uh, to work on your Amazon business. As you can see here, we're looking at March 1st to March 31st, 2020. So just last month. And you can see here, I clocked in a total of 64 hours of work. Okay. Uh, and then this, some of these hours have been divided. Some is Amazon FBA, some is just miscellaneous business things. Uh, some don't have a name project to it because I forgot to put that in, that's my fault. And then YouTube hours, of course. So you can see here, uh, there's some average days that have high days and really, really high days and some really, really low days. You'll see a lot of um, like weekends are usually when I don't work. Uh, this beginning part, Sunday from March 1st to about March, third or fourth, I was on vacation. So uh, I had just gotten back in the next day I started working. Uh, but usually Saturdays and Sundays and sometimes Fridays, I don't work. I usually strictly keep it Monday through Friday, okay? Uh, so you can see I got a high point here, boom, Monday, I worked eight hours, almost nine hours, that was a busy day. Uh, this day was six, this day was only one hour, this day was only 30 minutes. Uh, that was a Saturday. So some days are higher than others. Uh, but let's look at exactly what I did on my Amazon business. So there's two parts to this. There's the part where you uh, put in hours to maintain your business. And then there's parts where you put in hours to grow your Amazon business. So to do your Amazon business and after you've 
sold a product and you've uh, you've found a winning product and it's selling consistently per month and you're maintaining your account doesn't take much time at all so right here so where it says uh, optimizing ads and account overview all of those or where it says just account overview those are all times where you're just this is where I'm just maintaining my my business this is not me trying to scale it because that takes more time this is just working with whatever products I have now that are making me money and you can see here these are the ones that don't take much time there's a lot less of these product um, there's a lot less of these optimizing ads than there is product research product research whenever you see that that is when I am putting time to scale and grow my business and that takes way more hours so if we count up out of these 32 hours which ones were actually like directly on my Amazon business so 32 hours in a month divided by four weeks that's gonna be an average of eight hours per week so let's see here so optimizing ad three hours one hour that's four call that five six seven uh, eight call that nine ten all right so a total of ten hours a little over ten hours in a month to maintain my business so what is that 10 divided by 4 that's an average of two and a half hours per week per week and if I want to grow my business and put more time into it, I can and that's what all the product research is that's me finding more products to source so I can make more money and scale the business further and even when you do that and that happens every time you have a new product that's winning it doesn't take much more time it doesn't take the, it, it, every time you launch a new product, it takes the same amount of time to do it and the, the amount of time it takes to maintain it doesn't really change. Maybe you'll go from two and a half hours to like 2.6 hours or something like that. It doesn't change much. So every time you get more products, it doesn't require more time. Now, what does it look like in the beginning though? In the beginning, I would say you probably want to, I would say probably one and a half this times this 32 hours. So what is that? It's gonna be like 45, 50 hours in a month. Yeah, it'll probably take you 50 hours like the first month that you're seriously doing Amazon uh, for you to you know get your account ready uh, to get a, um, a business account for your bank, to do product research, to build your Amazon listing, to talk to suppliers, negotiate, all that stuff. I'm gonna say like that first month or two is gonna take a total of about 50, 45 to 50 hours. And then after that, smooth sailing. You're gonna be spending maybe 10 hours a month on it. And that's the power of Amazon. That's That makes it, makes it a lot easier to scale and to do it on the side. So you're definitely capable of doing this on the side with your nine to five business. So to do this business, honestly, you're gonna run into some long nights where you're gonna have some restless nights as well but it's not gonna last forever, so don't cry about it. You're gonna need to spend a couple hours after work doing this and committing your time into this. On the flip side of this, it's kind of good that the way that this business runs fits into most people's schedules. Usually people work a nine to five job, and the thing is, suppliers are usually up in China from like 5 p.m. and on. Because you're gonna be dealing with suppliers out on the other side of the world, in China and whatnot, uh, when you're asleep, they're gonna be awake and so you need to be awake when they're awake so that you can negotiate uh, Check supplies talk to your suppliers and see what you need to get down and done So before my Amazon business, I actually had a full-time personal training business. I had a full stacked clientele I had like 30 clients at a time um, And it was a very very busy schedule and very very tiring. Um, I would have clients from uh, first clients would be from like oh like 2 p.m or so 2 p.m until 10 p.m back to back and before that i would be training from like 10 a.m until about 2 p.m so basically i would have a full 12 hour day at the gym i'd spend my entire day at the gym and i'm telling you as much as i love fitness and strength training and helping people out it was exhausting. So after spending 12 hours at the gym training myself and then training clients and putting up a happy face and giving them my high energy all day, you think I wanna come home and wanna work more? Hell nah! But the goal I had in mind was 
way bigger than me having to relax at that very moment. I knew I couldn't be training and working 12 hours a day for the next like 10 years of my life. So I knew I needed an exit plan. So I decided I'm just gonna take the L right now and suffer and do the work now because later it's gonna pay off. So I decided I would stay up and I would study my course that I was uh, taking at the time to learn about FBA. I would do my product research. I would talk to suppliers, check up on samples and launch my product. And this was all happening after my personal training business. I did this for nearly two years until my Amazon business outgrew my personal training business and the income was just like, I knew I was like, okay, I could live off this, I'm good, okay, I'm good. So yes, you could totally do Amazon FBA while you're still working your nine to five job. You just gotta stay up a little bit longer and you have to commit your hours after it. So if you want similar results like I did or even better results, you're gonna have to commit time to this. You're gonna have to not bitch out, you're gonna have to suck it up take the L and even when you're tired, dig a little bit deeper to do the rest of the work. You're not gonna put the same amount of hours as another full-time job, so you're not gonna have like two full-time jobs, but it's definitely gonna be like, here's your nine to five, here's your part-time side business. It will require some long nights and some long days, but it's not gonna be permanent, it's only gonna be temporary, and you gotta remember what the goal is in front of you. The great thing is, it's just the upfront work for Amazon FBA that takes a lot of time. But once you have a product up and running, it's very, very easy to maintain. Just like how I showed you in the Toggle app, I don't spend much time directly on the products that are selling right now. It takes me more time to search for more products to source rather than spending time on my actual products that are already running. So imagine what you have going on right now and then plus in another hour or two a week on just your current winning products that are making you thousands of dollars per month in passive income. And all you do is every week just check up on the ads and optimize them and just make sure your listing is all cool and then that's it, an hour or two a week. So I hope you guys got a lot better perspective on what Amazon FBA is and how you can do it while still working your nine to five job and it's very, very possible. So as always guys, like the video if you haven't already, subscribe and then join the private Facebook group. That's where all the people get the info and updates on Amazon. We help each other out on there as well. Uh, you got new sellers, advanced sellers in there, so check it out. If you wanna learn directly from me, go ahead and check out my course down below, link in the description. You get my full step-by-step -step Amazon course, plus my mentorship from the very best. So thank you guys so much for watching. As always, go get with that money, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.